Good morning YouTube, how's everyone doing? Thanks for tuning in. Uh, this video is an update review on the Tebow Tornado at six weeks, the Mono Price Maker Ultimate at four weeks, and the Ender 2 at three weeks. Let's start with the Tornado. The Tornado keeps printing 24-7. <laughs> I'm, I'm amazed by the results for what I paid for it. I'm running it about 20 hours a day, not quite 24-7, but pretty close to 20 hours a day. I rarely have a failed print. I think I'm up to three. I haven't had a mechanical issue at all, with one exception. The fan that was inside of here failed, stopped spinning. I noticed it wasn't spinning one day. There's one on the other side as well. The fans inside are 50 by 10 on one side at 24 volt, and a 50 by 15 on the other side at 24 volt, but they're sleeve bearing fans. They were not ball bearing fans. So I ordered a couple of Delta ball bearing fans that are 50 by 20. I ordered one for each side and I installed them externally instead of internally in the case. So what that allows is me to use the bigger fan that pushes more air at a lower RPM. And if you notice, you can barely hear it. The normal Tornado box is a screamer and is louder than the printer. So that completely tamed that. Right here I'm printing a coaster holder for these coasters I printed. That's what I'm printing on the Tornado. But I love the Tornado, would recommend it to anybody. In fact, I do regularly. People ask all the time and I, yeah, I'd buy another Tornado. I absolutely love it. Okay, on to the mono price. The mono price, it's a little more love-hate. Uh, it puts out good prints, but it's absolutely a little more finicky than either of the other printers I had. I had done a few upgrades to it since uh, I last did a video. I changed out the cooling solution. This cooling solution has an EBM Paxt 5115 blower. That's the blower. And then it already has a mount for bed leveling, auto bed leveling, which I bought the sensor for, I just haven't hooked up yet. Right there I'm printing a Tiki cup in vase mode that was sliced with S3D. That's one of the things I've been playing with is I did pick up S3D and I'm doing some stuff in S3D, some stuff in Cura and taking my time to learn S3D. S3D does seem to give better surface prints in some spots than Cura, but I suspect when I learn it more, I'll find that it gives better all around, which is what I had heard before, but we'll see. So the Tiki, is in prep for a filament video that I'm doing. That's 25 different colors of filament from five different manufacturers. Some are translucent, some are not. I printed the exact same model for every color, which is the vase, and then I also printed a Benchy because vases don't always come out the same as hard models do when you're looking at things with infill, etc. So I wanted people to be able to see exactly how it looks for each of these 25 colors, 26 right there. And then I have five more coming from Tesla Filament that should be here this week from Israel. When they come, I will print the same models and then I will go ahead and do the video and I'm gonna get it launched. And there'll be 31 colors reviewed. And you can actually see how each one of them prints, how it shines, how it looks on a vase, how it looks on a part. So please subscribe to be notified when I release that video. I think that video will be helpful for a lot of people. My Ender 2. The Ender 2 has been a gem. The only issue I've had with the Ender 2 at all is the belt puller. If you notice, there's a green one on there. The belt puller broke. So I'm assuming the layers weren't bonded correctly. And that was PLA Plus that I likely extruded at too low of a temperature where it's still extruded and the part looked okay but it didn't get good layer adhesion so i reprinted that part in regular pla just another color just to get me back up and running again um but that's the only problem i've had with the ender 2 it also prints pretty close to round the clock makes amazing quality prints you just can't beat it for the price uh mods to the ender 2 i slightly changed this tensioner for the puller you see there's a bevel right here that bevel was put in to allow this carriage to go all the way whereas the old one was hitting and i didn't notice so it was mentioned in the comment section of the video 
my last Ender video, one of the users, is happens to be the user who designed the part, mentioned that it hit, and he designed a new one. So I went and downloaded the new one and printed it. Links to that will be below. Other than that, the Ender is still in the same mod condition that it was in before. I am using the Pi to run the Ender. So I now have OctoPrint running all of my 3D printers. Just for those of you that haven't seen OctoPrint, this is what it looks like. And I know this isn't going to be the best quality, but it's just to give you a ballpark. Here's what I'm printing. Gives you an idea how much time's left. You get an estimate of filament. Cost, I have to change that to dollars. You go down here, you just upload a file, whatever it happens to be. Let's see. Filament, filament, I got it. Okay. You upload the file. It's now uploaded. You click print and you print. No swapping SD cards. Nothing. Um, I'm a big fan of OctoPrint. I have, you're actually able to color code the OctoPrint instances. So I have three printers, three OctoPrints. Uh, the Ender is yellow. So you see I have yellow up there. If you go to my mono price one, it's blue. Like the parts on the mono price are blue. And then if you look at the Tornado one, it's green. And each one of them, I get a temp graph. I get to see what's going on. I get to look at uh, the actual G-code that's being sent back and forth. You can use this to send G-code commands. There's tons and tons of features. I will do a separate video on OctoPrint. But to anybody that's having problems with their prints freezing or weirdness with SD, and they're still using SD cards, switch to USB and OctoPrint. It'll be the best thing you ever did. I've recommended at least five people to do it in the last few weeks. And every one of them that's done it has been so glad and can't believe they were sneaker netting prints on SD cards. So, anyhow... Thank you very much for tuning in, everybody. Um, have a great day. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Please subscribe again to be notified on the filament video. And I also have a 260 millimeter by 370 millimeter Delta printer that's inbound. That printer is that one. Is what it looks like. That printer is inbound for a full review, assembly, etc. So please subscribe if you want to be notified or you're interested in a. Uh, Delta, learning something about a Delta. Okay, everyone, thank you very much. You have a great day. Bye.